Good evening. It's 7 o'clock and it's April 24th, 2017, and I welcome you and others uh, that are present, uh, those at home watching on cable access, to the uh, second meeting of the month for the Speedway Town Council. Um, I'd like to go ahead and introduce uh, members of our, our uh, council and, and others uh, participating this evening. To my right is Vice President of the Council, Jeff Matthews. Good evening. To my immediate left is Councilor Dave Lindsay. Good evening. To his left is Jason Delisle, Councilor. Good evening. And our new town manager as of a week ago today is uh, Jacob Blaisdale. Hello. Welcome. And our clerk treasurer, Monty Combs. Hello. First item, I'll follow. I'll follow. <laughs> first item on the agenda is the Pledge of Allegiance. I'd ask everyone to rise and salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. We have a fairly brief agenda this evening. Um, so we'll go ahead and move forward with a request for road closure on 15th Street from Biltmore to 16th and on Biltmore July 13th through July 15th, 2017 for the Speedway uh, St. Christopher's Festival. That's uh, their annual festival. I know they're over many, many decades now. So um, that, uh, we're going we're to do item three first, then we'll go back to uh, to to item two, just, uh, just because I've already uh, uh, hit item item three. So if we could have uh, a motion, we can discuss this. Mr. President, I make a motion that we approve item three, which is a request for road closure on 15th Street from Biltmore to 16th and on Biltmore and on Biltmore from July 13th through the 15th, 2017 for the annual St. Christopher Festival. I'll second. Thank you for that motion. Um, any comments or questions from the, the uh, counselors or anyone else? This is the same row closure as previous, right? Yes, yes. So they uh, they leave <coughs> one lane open on 15th Street for emergency vehicles such as our fire, fire trucks and uh, medic trucks and so on. And uh, Biltmore itself is closed, uh, both sides of the road, uh, from 15th to 16th Street. Uh, any comments from the audience? Okay. All those in favor of approving the request for the road closures as presented, say aye. 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 Opposed? That carries 4-0. Now let's go back to number two. We have minutes that have been distributed and uh, for a April 10th, to, uh, 2017 town council meeting, regular session. Uh, any changes or comments to those? Hearing none, we'll accept those as presented. Um, we have uh, another item to actually add to the agenda. Uh, it was not uh, on, on the agenda. It's for the uh, April 10th, 2017 executive session. Uh, those have also been uh, uh, distributed before the meeting. Actually, it comes a call. I believe that was a caucus, and the that should not have been typed up. That's correct. I think you're correct. Yes. So, um, so it, it, we, actually, we have a we have a we had an executive session um, that was not held on the tenth. Correct. Uh, going forward, just as a matter of uh, procedure, what I've asked uh, uh, the, uh, the administrative help to do is to go ahead and announce an executive session uh, preceding all regular town council meetings on the second and fourth Mondays uh, of the month so that we we know we have those those scheduled so um, all right so we are on to item number four which is aging in place rehabilitation program we have a visitor if you'd like to come forward and uh, tell us who you're with state your name and who you're with it's good to see you again I had the opportunity to meet you before thank you my name is Deb Lilly and I'm with administrative resources in Columbus um, we were hired by KW consulting who recently did a housing feasibility study or needs assessment I guess for the town of Speedway and as a result of that study it appears that the town and um, Towns folks would like to go forward with an aging in place program. It is a grant program through Indiana Housing and Community Development Authority. Uh, the program is 
uh, designed to help homeowners who are 55 and older and or disabled if they have a disabled person in the household these uh, funds would be used on each home up to fifteen thousand dollars for health and safety uh, concerns in the home but also uh, the fun part of it is or the most needed part i think by a lot of these homeowners is the mobility improvements perhaps uh, putting in a handicapped shower ramps, maybe improved lighting, whatever they might need. So um, we're excited about the program. We think it's a great fit. And based on the demographics of Speedway, it seems like it's going to be a great fit for you all, too. So I just um, would like to answer any questions if you have any. Um, I can tell you that the application will be submitted in July. We've held uh, two meetings, both on the same day. And we had not such a great turnout the first meeting, but on the second meeting we did have 13 people, um, and but we got rid of 40 applications because they knew somebody who knew somebody or neighbor, that kind of thing. So we were able to get those um, applications distributed. I know we've left some here at Town Hall, and we've also left some at the Annex if folks need those, and we can certainly mail them to them. The town anticipates going forward with uh, the full request, which is $350,000, which hopefully will do approximately 18 homes. Uh, keeping in mind, if they don't use the full 15 on each home, we could certainly do more. So um, I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. I had two questions. Sure. Uh, so first, are these grants, loans, or both? This is a grant to the town of Speedway, who in turn will make a forgivable loan to the homeowner. There is a three-year commitment affordability period, so <coughs> the homeowner will sign a, a commitment stating that they'll continue to own the home, live in it, and keep it insured. If for some reason that doesn't work out, then whatever assistance they've received in their home is prorated and would be paid back over. Okay when they sold the home. And then you are still accepting applications? We are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, we've asked for um, we've asked for the applications to come in by June 1st, but that's just to give us a good idea and to show the state that we're interested in the program and that the community is interested. So, uh, but we will accept them. And I was just looking here real quick on the handout that we received for information on how to submit. Yes. An applicant is it on this it's probably not on this I don't know it is in the packets that we gave the folks when we passed <coughs> okay. it out however you can submit to town hall they'll be glad to take those for okay. the homeowners as well as the town annex and they can mail them back to us and if they want to call these numbers we'll be glad to answer any questions as well perfect thank you mm -hmm. Deborah I uh, had the chance to, to hear uh, a lot more details and this is fantastic um, you gave us specific examples of how this changed people's lives and uh, how this will both uh, um, those who have a max max household income tip off, oftentimes retirees uh, would fit in this category those with disabilities etc and um, the opportunity to just make their homes able to to stay in them and that's uh, we we actually a couple of us were with some residents over the weekend. We'll talk more about that later, but um, one big challenge for them is, is their homes not um, really being uh, retrofitted, if you will, f uh, for handicap access and bathrooms and kitchens and just stairwells and other things to make it easier for them. So this is a, this is a great program, and uh, thank you for that. We're glad to be here. So as I understand it, you're trying to get the applications now so that yeah. when, when you submit we have a good we, we have a we good, have a good basis for why the, in addition to all exactly the point right. points program we'll continue to, to collect them though after submission I'm certain because perhaps if the, if the town uses all the funds and they want to go in next round we'll continue to keep a waiting list um, for as long as the town might want us to uh, and oftentimes people who appear to be eligible too for some reason tend to drop out so I would encourage anybody to get their application in yeah. and not get discouraged Remind me again who you submit to. You can send it to no, you. Yeah, who we who send your it group to. submits it's to. It's Indiana Housing and Community Development Authority. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And these are federal dollars filtered through the state. Right. And so we're we will be measured um, 
on our application, uh, the documentation we provide, there's also various criteria for how they will give points. I'm just kind of That's making exactly it right. clear to those uh, here on the council in the, in the audience. So we'll be measured like we are in other grant programs from LDGF, et cetera. And the, um, and the total number of points will will be tallied and then they'll compare us to other communities that have also applied for this. And basically those are the most points, the most need would uh, would be awarded the grants. Okay. That's right. Okay. They're still working on their policy for this year. Um, we've been going from what last year's score was based on, but we hope to, first of May, we're supposed, supposed to get the most recent policy, so we'll have a better scoring criteria to, to talk with you about. Great. All right, so um, thanks for your Thank report. You. Thanks for coming up from Columbus. Okay, so the next item is resolution 2017, a resolution to allow the transfer of funds from the general fund to the QM Cap Development Fund. Um, Monty, would you like to make a comment on this? Yes, sir. This is, like you've read, a can, uh, transfer from general fund to CCD fund we have. A little shortage this year. We're, there will be more revenues this year from a change in that tax from last year that will be paid this year. Um, this is a temporary loan that will la be paid back by the end of this year as required by law. So we'd appreciate your approval. We have a motion Mr. on this. Mr. President, I move that we approve resolution number 2017-08. Second. We have a motion on resolution 2017-08 to approve transfer of funds. Any comments or questions? Uh, all those in, uh, any comments or questions from the audience? I'm sorry. All those in favor of approving this resolution 2017-8 as described, please say aye. 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 Opposed? This carries 4-0. Next item 6 is approval bid award with Grady Brothers for uh, ADA compliant uh, curb ramp and resurfacing not to exceed $289,534. Um, we have been provided uh, the the bids. Uh, Wendell, I know you're here. If you you wouldn't mind coming forward and talking about this, and then we'll get a motion on it. Good evening, Councilors. Uh, this is our 2017 street res resurfacing project that was put out for bids. Uh, we received uh, five bids back, uh, Grady Brothers being the lowest, most responsive at 289,534. Uh, that is for the streets of 21st Street from Allison to Dead End, Auburn Street from 20th to 25th, Winton Avenue from 21st Allison Avenue, and McCray Street from Auburn to 25th Street. And I'm just asking your approval on that amount uh, to be in the lowest responsive bid, Grady Brothers. We have a motion on this and we can discuss it. Mr. President, I make a motion that we accept the bid with Grady Brothers not to exceed $289,534. Second. Okay. We have a motion. Any uh, questions for, for Wendell on this? Wendell, you've, this is a group you've worked with before, correct? Yes, sir. They've done work throughout the town over the years that I've been with them and stuff. And, and there's going to be uh, talking with Jacob, uh, getting him up to speed on this project since it was bid out before he got here. Uh, under state law on our bid process, uh, we still have 20% that we increase our contract. So once we get this group and you guys approve, uh, get them under contract, we're going to offer out additional work up to that 20% amount. That, With these low costs, we want to take advantage of, of these dollars now and add some additional uh, footage to that. That would add... Um, 24th Street from Auburn to Georgetown, Allison Avenue, Fisher to 25th Street, and uh, Shaw to McCray. And uh, once this is approved and we get with the contractor, me and Jacob will talk about it and then uh, see if we can get that extra work done with these dollars. That's and great. one other question, are you milling or just, just to pave over? We will mill off an uh, inch and a half and put back an inch and a half. And we, we're doing all the ADA ramps as we're there the curb ramps, and then we're doing some concrete repair, curb repair as we're going through to make sure that we How, get everything to tighten up. Another question. Uh -huh. How close are we as a town is getting compliant on all of our ramps throughout town? 
We are getting real good. I have, uh, if we get these other three or four streets approved for this year, uh, that neighborhood will get, be complete. And I think everything south of Carversville Road, so we have the Meadowwood addition left to do. But we've had some improvements over projects there too. So we're, we're making progress every year, so. Very good, thank you. Uh -huh. um, Wendell, how, how do we prioritize uh, the, the projects? Uh, we had a question. A couple of Ten was, years ago, yeah. we set up an inventory of all of our streets and sidewalks. Uh, we put them on a rating system. We go through each year and reprioritize. If we have streets that are getting worse than their rating that we figured out, we re-rate them. And we we submit it with the state, uh, with our grants and money that we try to get from the state. Uh, we have this all built into a system. It's called a passer program. Uh, they're trying to get all communities to go to it so everybody has the same rating system. Uh, we built ours on a spreadsheet 19 years ago, uh, submitted it to the state. Uh, they liked it, so they built off of it. And uh, now we're, everybody's coming to that format is to try and get that. But that's how we do it. We have a rating system 1 to 10 on the streets and 1 to 10 on the sidewalks. And uh, we go through each year and program our funding, talking with Monty, and then we take our footage and try to get the work done. Yeah. So like any other project, whether it's this building or any other public building, in, in, when we get to a corner, we have to have ADA compliance, and that's uh, why you, you go forward with, with that change? We do. Uh, anytime I touch a street, we do any street work, we have to do that improvement. And from our funding that we get from the state and federal, that's part of their requirement, and that's why we file all the documentation yearly that we're working to those goals to get everything completed and keep them up to speed. So is there a, a sunset on when we have to have ADA compliance? Uh, or is it what I do, I, I file paperwork each year with the ADA group is uh, qualifying uh, what we are investing and with the grants and everything else that we apply for, those numbers are all put forward just so they know what we're working towards. Uh, I don't know if we get points or any other benefit out by not doing that or doing that, but it seems to help out that we have a need for our, our ADA compliant to make it all happen. And it's just like our pub, public buildings, uh, worked with Monty on his, uh, doorway entrances and things like that to make sure we're getting up to speed on everything so Great. any more questions any questions from the audience and call for the vote all those uh, in in favor of approving the uh, bid award with Grady Brothers uh, as described for not to exceed two eight two hundred eighty nine thousand five hundred thirty four uh, say aye. Aye. aye aye opposed that carries five uh, four zero Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you, Wendell. Uh, Monty, we're on to item seven. A report from you and uh, anything else in the approvals that you normally ask for. Yeah, just quickly the uh, claims for the period of April the 8th through April the 21st. As I commonly say, these are uh, common businesses we go with during the period. And um, that period, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer. Otherwise, I'd appreciate your approval. Mr. President, I move that we approve the claims as presented by Clerk Treasurer. Second. A motion to approve the claims. Any uh, comments or questions from the audience? Any from the council? All those in favor of approving the claims as presented, say aye. 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 Opposed? Carries 4 0. Okay. Also on the uh, utility adjustments, you'll see those on the report I submitted. Um, all but one of these are based on folks having some type of a leak in their homes and they get some help from uh, the sewer bureaus during that period of time. So we we'll appreciate your approval there as well. Mr. President, I move that we approve the utility adjustments from April 8th to April 21st as presented. Second. second. Third. <laughs> okay, we have uh, first, second, and third on uh, uh, utility adjustments. Uh, we'll just take the first two. And okay. uh, I guess. Any comments or questions from the audience on these? Any from the council? Uh, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Four zero. Anything else to report? No, sir. Um, well, we have town manager. Any, uh, anything you'd like to report, uh, Jacob? <laughs> you said I got a full hour, right? Sure. <laughs> no. Uh, no, it was it was a really good first week. Um, <laughs> I've, I've thanked a lot of people. 
personally, but uh, we'll take the opportunity to do so publicly and thank uh, the, pe the hardworking people that make this town work. Um, everyone's been very welcoming, um, giving me a lot of tours, seeing a lot of facilities, um, and they've been extremely patient with all of my questions. Uh, some of them good, some of them not so good, but uh, just want to thank everybody. And uh, yeah, it was a really good first week. That's nothing further to report. Great. Any, any questions we want to gruel uh, the town manager with? We'll save them for when it gets real rough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, the month of May is coming, so enjoy the next week anyway. Uh, okay. Yeah, report from council members. Uh, Jason, do you have anything to report this evening? Nothing for me. Okay. Uh, David Lindsay? Uh, a couple of reminders. This Saturday from 10 to 1 here at the police department is Shred It Day. I think it's five dollars per box get rid of all those unwanted documents and I think they also have the pharmacy you can turn in your pills that you don't need it's a great way to dispose of them Norm loves it when you guys do all that uh, and then a reminder Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday of this week that our waterworks is doing doing hydrant fl flushing so you'll see the trucks out and about and um, I, I mentioned this before but uh, our cable board and our employees do a great job with that, and I want to encourage everyone to follow them on the YouTube channel. They had a stormwater management board hearing. They didn't have a, a quorum, but they had uh, a gentleman come up that gave some great information about the dry run project and um, a lot of information about that. So I was in encourage everyone to watch that and just follow along on that. That's all I have. Great. Uh, finally. Uh, Councillor Matthews? I have nothing to report this evening, Mr. President. Uh, I, I have nothing to report, just a question um, for the parents of students. Uh, is this I-STEP week? The you second week of it, yes. Yeah. Second week. So just a reminder to uh, to families, uh, do everything you can to get your, your children a good night's rest and to school because those I-STEP scores, even though that, that particular test will be going away in a couple of years, those scores do matter to our community in terms of the funds we receive and pay for teachers and, and a variety of other things so just a, a subtle reminder month of May is coming and uh, things are going to get really busy that's exciting um, and uh, I think that's all we have to report it is uh, 722 and I call this meeting adjourned <laughs>